Um, greetings, brothers and sisters. Greetings, brothers and sisters. Um, I pray all is well. Um, I'm a little bit mobile today, so I pray everything is coming clearly and you guys can hear me correctly. Um, today, brothers and sisters, uh, welcome to another exciting gathering, gathering on end time evangelism. <clears throat> um, welcome to Holy Spirit Radio, and we thank Greater New Birth for hosting it for us. And it is the Home Church of Holy Spirit Radio. Um, brothers and sisters, I just pray that you've been well. Um, most importantly, I pray that you have not been shaken. Um, I have a heavy word for you today. Um, but it will be a blessing. Um, but before we get into the word of the Lord today, before we get into the word of the Lord today, let us pray so our heart to get into a place to receive all that the Lord has to pour into us today, okay? So without further ado, let's pray. Um, dear heaven and wise Father, we repent of our sins. Please forgive us of our sin. We're coming for your throne. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for your mercy. And we thank you for your sacrifice, Lord. Lord, lead us by your spirit. Guide us. Uh, in a way, Lord, that our heart will be completely given over to your truth. Lord, help us in this moment, in this hour to be more like you. Reveal your word to us, Lord. Um, allow for us to see how you see things, Lord, that in all things, our joy may be complete in your testimony. Um, Lord, remove every distraction, remove every hindrance, move, remove any things, Lord, that will cause your word to be unfruitful in our heart. Lord God, we welcome you. We love you so much, Daddy. Holy Spirit, have your way, and may you be glorified in this hour, Lord. Um, in Jesus' person, name we pray. Amen. 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 Well, brothers and sisters, let's get into this word, okay? Now, um, as I've been spending time with the Lord, um, the Lord has been speaking to me concerning his heart, concerning uh, the prophecies of the Bible, concerning everything going on in this hour that we are currently in. Mm -mm -mm. And he said, son, the only thing that will keep you in this hour is your relationship with me. Mm -mm. He says, son, the only thing that will keep you in this hour is your relationship with me. Because as you mature in your relationship with me in this hour, in this seven year period leading up to my second coming, it will tell you those things that you should do and those things you should not do. Mm -mm. Because he says, son, in this hour, many people will be seized simply because they don't know what to do and they don't know what not to do, okay? And he says, son, the only way for you to know what to do is to press deeper in my presence. This is the time, the hour, the season to press deeper and to press deeper, uh, to press deeper into my present that you may be completely consumed with my glory. OK. And then as I was spending time with the Lord, the Lord said to me, son, let my words sanctify your heart by my righteousness. Oh. He said, son, let my word sanctify your heart by, by my righteousness. Because he said, son, in this hour, I am revealing the prophecies of the Bible. I'm unfolding everything right before your eyes that my word might, that my word may sanctify your heart in righteousness because you can see my word is power and my word never fail. And he said, son, the greatest evidence that I'm going to show you in this hour through everything that is happening around you and everything that is going on in your heart, that my word do not come back void. Oh. He said, son, the, what I'm doing in this hour through the prophecies of the Bible, through everything that is happening, I'm showing this world, I'm showing this earth that my word does not come back void. Oh. That I know my heart, I know your heart better than you. And when I tell you the things that's going to happen before they happen, and when I tell you what man going to do before they do it, I'm specifically telling you that my word come back void. And then he said, church, as you see these things coming to pass and my word does not come back void, let that give you a deeper obedience to my will. Oh, he said, son, as you see my word coming to pass, let it be a, let it bring you to a deeper obedience to my will. Okay. And then the Lord took me to Psalm chapter uh, 18, verse 38. And it was very important what he said. Let me read it real quick. He took me to Psalm chapter 38, um, 38 verse, excuse me, for Psalm chapter 18, verse 38. And let me, let me read what he said. Let me read what he said. And um, verse 38, and it says, I'm going to start at verse 7, 30, 37 said, I have pursued my enemies and overtaken them. Neither did I turn back again till they were destroyed. I have wounded them so they could not rise. They have fallen under my feet. 
The Lord says, son, if you if you fix your eyes on me in this hour, then the circumstance of destruction around you won't overtake you, but rather it will give you victory through your faith. Oh, man. He says, son, as you fix your eyes on me and really see past, press past the things that are going on by being consumed in my presence, then when you see these things, it will cause you to be victorious in your faith where these things won't consume you, but rather there'll be a stepping stone to my glory. Oh, he said the prophecies in the, in the, the prophecy that I'm revealing that was happening over 2000 years ago that has happened today. If you fix your eyes on me, then the destruction that is coming upon this life won't cause you to fear, but rather it will be a stepping stone to a higher intimacy because it will cause you to trust my word much more because of what I say to you. Oh, man what do we say let us obey the gospel and be filled completely uh with his holy spirit by being completely given over to his word oh man okay and then the lord took me uh to verse 46 verse 46 and this is what it read it said the lord lives blessed be my rock let god of my salvation be exalted it is god who avenged me and subdues the people under me he delivered me from my enemies you also lift me up above those who rise against me you have delivered me from the violent man oh so god in this hour said if you cling to my word if you cling to my garment then guess what i will give you victory over your enemy why because even if we lose our life physically we live forever in his glory so no matter what the enemy try to persecute the church and try to do to us in this hour we win regardless because we got a place in his kingdom oh man Whenever the disciples suffered back in the, when the, when the, the, the disciples walked the earth with Jesus and when he left and went to the kingdom of God to get to be seated right hand of the father, whenever they had to suffer for his name, they counted it joy. They would smile. They would rejoice when they got beat. They would rejoice when they go through problem. Why? Because they was living for their bedroom in heaven and not the bedroom of this life. Oh, he says, son, let the prophecies of the Bible push you deep into your bedroom in heaven so that this world and the circumstances in this hour won't rob you of hope, but rather it will produce hope all the more because it's causing you to trust in what I said. And as you trust in what I was said, you're trusting your salvation much more because I told you that I'm coming for you and you have, you have a house in my kingdom. So what do we say? Let our hope be in eternal life and not the current life that we are in. And then the Lord, then the Lord, uh, notice it said verse, it said, you also lifted me up above those who rise against me. You have delivered me from the violent man. Therefore, I would give thanks to you, O Lord, among the Gentiles, sing praise to your name. Great deliverance he gives to his king and shows mercy to his anointed, to David and his descendant evermore. Those who walk humble before God in this hour, really seeking him, eagerly longing to see him, then God will give them grace and mercy in this hour to endure through everything by giving them the strength in Christ through their personal relationship as they endure for his sake because they want to dwell where he at. Okay? The next thing, the, the note that it said that the Lord wanted me keen, it said, verse 4 to 8, it said, he delivers me from my enemies. You also lift me up above those who rise against me. You have delivered me from the violent man. Okay. Now, in this hour, we will see you one, in this hour, we will see one world globalists. We will see elitists, uh, hot politicians, high up in authority. They will be violent men. They were on the surface, the Bible said that Satan disguised himself as an angel of light. So in appearance, they will look good, but in their heart, they will be violent. They have they will have a speech that is charismatic and make it seem like they care about the people, but in their heart and their mind, they will be a violent man. Meaning they are pushing laws, pu pushing regulations, pushing things that will cause your soul to be corrupt and where you won't see the kingdom of God. Okay? And the Lord been revealing something to me personally that he's gonna allow to me to say, uh, uh, in regards to what's going to happen. And, it, and I thank him for allowing me to share this in this hour, okay? Now, the violent men, the Lord says, son, there will be, he says, son, there will be physical welfare, meaning, you know, the Bible said that the Antichrist will persecute this church, meaning they will come against the church and everybody that won't conform to the mark of the beast. But also there will be a spiritual son right here in first psalm he said i was not only talking about a physical violent man but he said son also i'm talking about the spiritual violent man that in this hour in this seven year period leading up to my second coming not only he said not only would a one world government be the threat but the flesh will be a violent man against your soul 
the flesh will be a violent man against your soul. So the Bible said in Proverbs, it is not wise for man to lead not on his own understanding. When God said that he was not only talking about how we should live daily, not leaning on our own understanding, but also in this seven year period, in this end time that we are currently in, he was telling us not to lean on our own understanding. Why? Why did he tell us not to leave, lean on our own understanding? And I love him so much. Thoughts will become a violent man apart from the spirit. Oh, in this hour, our own thoughts will become a violent man that will cause us to be led astray from the will of God if we're not seeking the mind of Christ through his spirit. Oh, okay. As I was spending time with the Lord, he said, son, in this hour, if you're not careful, your own thoughts will be a violent man. Your own thoughts will be a violent man. So what do you say? Let me give you an example. You could be sitting still one day and all of a sudden a bizarre, crazy thought comes to your mind. You're like, where did that come from? Why? Because there is a spiritual warfare going on in the earth right now where the spirit, Satan got his demons tormenting the mind of man, whispering lies to the, whispering lies in the minds of man and causing man thoughts to be violent towards themselves. Okay. Bible says that God deliver us from the violent, not just a violent man or outside of us, but the violent man inside of our own heart when it come against the will of God. Whenever our heart cling to the flesh, our thoughts can become futile that will lead us astray from the will of God by our own wisdom. And the man of sin in this hour is going to persecute the flesh by bringing all things in front of our eyes, making it look very appealing to the point where if we lean in our flesh, then our whole thought process will become violent against our own self. Meaning we'll do those things that we know are wrong. Why is that important? Because Jesus said that I deliver you from the violent man. Oh. So when I ask, well, brother, I am I'm delivered from the violent man. How do um, our Lord and Savior Christ Jesus deliver us from the violent man, which is our thoughts in this hour. Because the main thing that's going to get people in this hour is not only things around them, but it's the thoughts in their mind that is not bringing up, bringing under submission to Christ. The, the Paul spoke by the Spirit said, The weapons of your welfare are not carnal, but mighty in Christ to pull down every strong, making every thought obedient to, to the mind of Christ. Oh, man. So, brothers and sisters, Jesus deliver us from the violent man by us living a life of prayer, submission, fasting, living by the spirit that every thought that is not of him, we bring it up on a, we bring it under the obedience of the mind of Christ. And therefore, we'll deliver it from that violent thought. Oh, so what do we say? Our relationship with Jesus in this hour will be a mighty instrument that transform our mind into his righteousness, that every violent thought that is contrary to the will of God will be brought up on a submission by the power of his spirit, Jesus. So what do we say? Let our relationship with God increase and we decrease because we want to be with him. Why? Because only he can deliver us from the violent man. Notice David said in Psalm, he did not say, I deliver myself, but he said, Lord, you deliver me from the violent man. What is God telling us in this hour? That your own strength won't save you. It's going to take me to deliver you from this violent man. Not the people around you only, but the inward thoughts that are violent, meaning they are contrary to my will and my purpose for your life. So what do we say? Let our relationship with God increase us in him, that in all things our thoughts will may be pure as he is pure. Jesus, Lord. Okay. Now, now, now that we got that taken care of, now we're going to talk about some things that we that you should do and the things you should not do. Okay. Okay. Now, in this, now the first, I'm breaking down to three segments. The first segment would be one world government. Okay. And we're going to talk about what you should do and what you should not do. Second segment, World War Three, and um, and uh, World War Three and stuff like that. Last segment, Q and A. Okay. Now. Breaking this down, brother and sister, now everything we just talked about at the beginning was the gospel, how we should uh, long for Jesus in the hour, let him keep us in this hour. Everything we just talked about just then, keep that in your heart because this is why it's important. Everything I'm going to share with you next, if we do what we just talked about, it's going to keep us for everything I'm about to show you in the article. The Holy Spirit about to show us in the article and everything he's about to say, okay? Because all our relationship with God will keep us in the hour. Now, in this hour, brother and sisters, Satan have an agenda, okay? He have his false salvation in this hour, and there's true salvation in this hour. There's three steps to salvation in the Bible, and there are three, three, three steps to salvation, the true salvation within Jesus. But Satan also have his false step, his false salvation 
to make people take the mark of the beast. So as his three steps in the gospel, so as Satan got his three steps of damnation. So there are three steps of sal salvation and Satan has three steps of condemnation that leads to separation in the lake of fire. Now, now watch this now. Now the Bible teaches us that first we have to worship Jesus, accept him as our Lord and Savior, okay? Then we must bear his name by being reborn, uh, bear his name, um, bear his name in baptism, take it on him, and then we must be filled, sealed with his spirit, okay? The Holy Spirit marks us as a child of God. When Jesus come, he will see his spirit in us. That's why the Bible said, if we who have the same resurrection power that Jesus had, we will go, we will be resurrected with him because the Holy Spirit is that sealing that calls us to enter the kingdom of God, okay? So let me give you the three steps to salvation. First, we must come to faith in Jesus, worship Jesus, that's one. Two, the name of Jesus, we bear his name through baptism. We become, we are bear his name in baptism. Three, we are filled with her Holy Spirit. Now, here's what Satan is doing in this out through one world government, okay? Satan, um, three steps to his condemnation is worshiping Satan, which is the Antichrist. The Antichrist will, Satan will inhabit the Antichrist. Satan will, be, uh, is, uh, Satan will inhabit, he will be, be incarnate in the Antichrist, okay? Okay, so he will, um, uh, his, his condemnation it, which is a false salvation that's not salvation at all but here's his condemnation the first step is he will cause you to worship satan cause you worship the antichrist the second thing satan will do is he will cause you to uh uh to worship uh he will call you to worship uh the name of the antichrist the name of the beast that's why it's in the book of revelation 13 it said that um he calls everybody to worship to worship the image and his name right okay why did he do that? Because Jesus said that everybody got to call upon his name to be saved. So Satan is trying to pervert everything by making you worship the Antichrist, making people worship the Antichrist, but also to try to bat it, to try to worship the image of his name. It's sad, but it's sad. The third thing, the third, the third thing, um, people will be demon possessed in this hour. So as we who walk with Christ, we are filled with the Holy Spirit. Satan will cause people to be demon possessed in this hour through the lies of his deception through the one world government okay that is why it's important because there's things that you should do which is to be fully relationship really live for god and all of him and all his all he has to offer through his son jesus because his son jesus is a true benefit okay okay the thing that you should not do in this hour is worship the antichrist you should not worship the image of the beast of his name because why? It will lead, once you take that mark, it will lead to you being demon possessed, living for a one world government system. And that would be not, that would not be salvation, that would be condemnation, okay? Okay, so I want you to take serious these things, brothers and sisters, because these things are happening right now as we speak, where the world is beginning to turn and worship, worshiping the beast, okay? Worship toward the beast, okay? okay? Revelation 13 um, talks about, um, the the one world government and also uh you talk it talks about the new world earth order so now we just talked about um uh the satan false religious system what he's doing in this hour where we got true salvation and you got false condemnation because it's not salvation you got true salvation which is jesus and then you got condemnation what satan is doing three steps to salvation and it's three steps to condemnation what satan is doing okay so we brothers and sisters have to be filled with the spirit and know what's going on in this hour okay okay Hear what the Holy Spirit is saying to the church. Okay, now we're going to talk about uh, uh, we're going to talk about something the Lord been been sharing sharing with me. Okay, now in this hour, uh, the our Lord and Savior Christ Jesus took me in the Spirit, and He showed our Lord and Savior Christ Jesus took me in the Spirit, and He showed me um, He showed me the partners of He showed me the partners of the Antichrist. Okay, okay, I'm not going to say who they are, but the Lord have took me in the Spirit and showed me the partners of the Antichrist. Okay, and this is what the Lord, um, this is what the Lord, um, this is what the Lord said to me, okay, okay, um, right now, right now, the, the whole world is absorbing, absorbing authority of the world monetary fund, okay, right now, the world is, accept, the one world government is a, is a suffering, absorbing authority over, um, over the, um, the, the world monetary form, form, fund, Okay, and right now, right now, what they are doing, right now, what they are doing as they're taking control, as they are taking control over the world money, what they're doing is they're going to use people money to control them. Okay, okay, 
Revelation 13, okay? One world government, make sure you write that down in New World Order. Right now, you are seeing them, what you see going on in America, what you see going on all around the world right now is the one world government system, the one world government system is beginning to implement the New World Order, okay? That's why you see the whole world, the World Economic Forum, everybody talking about changing laws, okay? Talk about changing laws, why? Because the book of Daniel tells us that the Antichrist is gonna change times and laws, okay? So you're going to hear the message of the spirit of the Antichrist when you hear politicians talk about, oh, we need change, we need change. That's the spirit of the Antichrist talking, okay? okay? What the Holy Spirit is saying to the church, okay? They're going to change times and law. The book of Daniel said this over 2,000 years ago. That's why they're making this a big deal about legislation right now, even in America, okay? Okay? Now, it said it would change the global elites you know, in, the, in the moving forward in 2021, even moving forward, the global elitists it's gonna push an issue of agenda to begin to change more times and laws, okay? okay, okay? Right now, the next thing they're doing, they're moving forward into a one world economy. Right now, they're changing times and laws to push the whole world into a one world economy, okay? You got right now, they're, right now, the World Economics Forum is talking about a digital currency. They're talking about digital currency and talking about how to buy and sell with digital currency. They're talking about how we need to be fast and how we need to do this and how I need to do that to be successful. Why is it important? Because I'm telling you right now today, I will listen to the World Economic Forum where well, a lady was talking about digital, digital currency, but also uh, but also buying and selling with a different digital currency. Why is it important? Because the book of Revelation 13 tells us no one will be able, be able to buy and sell. And I just think it's powerful how right now they're talking about buying and selling with digital currency. And they're gonna call for, now watch it. And, and, and also they said that they're gonna call for more, it's gonna need more transparency. They're saying that they're going to need more transparency to make this work. So what did that mean? That means they're going to have to have a digital system of, they're going to call for a digital system of surveillance. That's why they're launching thousands of satellites in the sky, because they're going to call for an agenda for it. They're going to call for a digital surveillance for more transparency to make it feel more peaceful and security to say that our funds to be need to be safe. In order for your funds to need to be safe, in order for people not to hack in, they're going to call digital currency more safer than physical currency. They're going to call digital currency more safe than physical physical currency. And the reason they're going to say that is because they're going to say, listen, we're going to make it safer by calling everyone to be more transparent. And in order for everyone to be more transparent, we're going to have to see all things from all spectrums and all angles. Oh, man. Why is that important? Why is it important? Because the Bible said no one would be able to buy or sell. So through peace and safety, like First Thessalonians 5, First Thessalonians 5 said, Paul said, they will holler peace and safety, sudden destruction will come. So they're going to holler peace and safety out of transparency. They're going to call for peace and safety through transparency to see everything that you got going on in your life to say that this is the only way to keep you safe. Oh, but in reality, they're going to be doing it to take full control of the world monetary fund and people individual live through visual, visual satellite images so they can be able to see where you are and track where you are so they can have full control over their system. So when they issue the mark of the beast, when they issue the mark of the beast, they know exactly where you are, exactly what you're doing, and exactly what money you have in your account and know how to freeze it. Okay? Why is that important? Because they're going to cause everyone to take the mark of the beast. Bro, like, bro, one might be asking, well, bro, when are they going to build this system? When is this happening? It's already built. Right now, they just get it. Listen, they have already been building on it. What they're doing, what they're doing right now, brothers and sisters, is bringing the world money together so they can push it out and implement it into cities all around the world. That's why they hollering net zero climate change. They holler net zero climate change. We're trying to get everything to net zero. They're trying to call every city around the world to net zero carbon emission by bringing the whole world money together and wealth redistribution to make every city, no city of a sovereign country, but every city in a global city of the one world government, bringing it into a one world state. So the one world government in, in, and the new world order is simply bringing the world into a one world state. And everybody that don't conform to that one world state will be an enemy of the state. I challenge you to watch the movie Enemy of the State, what Will Smith was in, if you have not seen it. Because that is a precursor to how it would be. Where if you come against what they're doing, if you don't take the mark of the beast, then you will be an enemy of the state. What state? You will be an enemy of the one world government, the enemy of the state. Okay? Okay, brother and sister, I'm, the Holy Spirit is revealing these things to y'all before they happen. So when they happen, they won't catch you off guard. Okay? 
So one world of coming. And if you've seen, if you've seen this, the uh, uh, Joe Biden address uh, the Congress, if you see Joe, if you seen Joe Biden address the Congress last night, you 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 heard. And I'm gonna show you how they speak. You heard them speaking about good things about helping people. But then he began to proceed into climate change and also saying the Equality Act. The Equality Act, if that passed the Senate, will persecute the church. Okay? That will persecute the church. That will cause doctors who don't believe in it either do it or lose your license. Or if a church don't, if a church wanna, uh, you can't, a church can't have segregated bathrooms in a church. Or if someone of same sex wanna come and lead your church, you can't disqualify them or that's discrimination. Okay, well, he just said, well, all of this thing, all of these pretty much, all these things that happened in America and everything that I have commanded, uh, did in these hundred days, let's do this. Uh, let's get more money to help people. Let's do that, but also bring the Equality Act across my desk. Bring out the American job plan across my desk. Look how one reason, he, they rail people in saying they helping people, but in the back door, they slant, slant, bring, trying to bring laws in that will persecute your faith. Have you thrown into the line then, then just like Daniel was. Daniel was, I said this before, Daniel was not thrown, and don't, uh, thrown into the line then just because, of the, just because the, the false magician and stuff, the people there didn't like him. They had to pass legislation to get him thrown into the line then. And that's what they're trying to do today in America and all around the world. But you got some people standing up trying to fight back against this stuff. But you also, so there's going to be a fight in this seven-year period. There's going to be a fight in America between globalists and non-globalists. So there's going to be popular resistance. As time goes on, the Lord will reveal it to us. Okay? So now let me talk about something Nancy Pelosi had said that they're trying to pass. Okay? And this is why it's important now. they pushing the world into it. When you see them talking about the benefits, okay, American job plan and different types of things, you best believe they got agendas in these bills for globalization of America. Okay? So let's talk about it. The whole world is going into a global global communist state. And that's what they're, they're trying to do in America. That's what they're trying to do, okay? But you got some leaders and politicians and government fighting back. So we must be aware of these things, okay? Okay, so you got one world government. These are a few things, okay, we talk about one world government. This, these are things Nancy Pelosi said in her speech after the Congress. She said, they're trying to pass the COVID-19 hate crime act. <laughs> COVID-19 hate crime act, hate, hate crime act. Now, that would get now. It's it's tough the things that they pass because if they pass hate crime hat hate crimes act COVID nineteen hate crime act, that means if you don't abide by certain rules and regulation to that hate crime act, um, that means you commit a hate against another person. So if this person doing A because of COVID nineteen and you doing B because of COVID nineteen because uh, because of uh, uh what you believe and how you walking with the Lord, then you can get persecuted because that means you committing hate against another person, okay? So they wanna pass a hate crimes act. They wanna pass the American job plan. They wanna pass the uh, equality, they wanna pass the equality act. We already talked about it before in time around this. They also wanna pass immigration, immigration reform, okay? You gotta ask, what is the big thing about the immigration crisis at the border of Texas? What is the big, big, big thing about the immigration crisis in Europe? What, are, what is the big thing about this immigration what is the big thing about this immigration thing all around the world? The whole point, the global elite are pushing the issue of immigration all around the world. It's simply to move forward and to number every human being so they can track their location. Right now, the one world globalists are causing this immigration crisis so they can have a, so to push forward to say that they need a, everybody in the world need a digital identity, okay? They're using immig Im uh, these Im Im immigration problems to lead to the mark of the beast. Why? Because they're using to say that this is why we need to number every human being in the world. So what is why you, why is the world hollering about immigration reform? Okay. Immigration is have problems is not just happening in America. It's been happening in Europe and happening in other places. So why is this important? Why you gotta ask why this? They want open borders for the whole world. The one world government want the whole world to be open borders. So as they keep the world in open border, that means no matter what country you in, you can go into each world and have citizenship. Meaning there will be one citizen. There will be a one world state and you will be a citizen. People that take the mark of the beast will be a citizen of a one world state. There will be no individual state. Every country that follows the Antichrist, it will be a one world state. Well, you will just be a citizen. You will no longer be a one citizen of America or one citizen of that country. You will be, they will look at you as a citizen of a world. So they won't, they won't, 
people coming to different countries and going to different countries. So when they number every human being in the world and everybody take their digital identities, they will say, hey, you are a citizen of the one world government. And when you in America, you won't, they won't just see you as a somebody in America. They will see a citizen of the one world state. Okay? Okay? And you got globalists in America saying that we need immigration ref reform. Now, the people that don't believe in globalism, they talk about immigration reform in a good way. They, they talk about immigration policy in a good way. But people like Nancy Pelosi want immigration reform, immigration reform through a global way of nibbering every human being and the whole world and coming into a one world state. Okay. Now, if you listen to the address at the Congress, Joe Biden said America is back moving again. Okay. Okay. If you see, if you uh if you uh listen to uh the Congress speak, you gotta ask, why was he saying America back moving again? Okay. Why is he saying America back moving again? What is he talking about? Most people will hear that and be like, well, he's talking about the economy moving and doing different stuff like that. No, no, no. No, listen what he said. America is back moving again and we are back talking to our allies. Well, who is he talking about? What allies? He's talking about the European Union. Well, we know the Antichrist, the power base of the Antichrist is going to be in Europe because the Antichrist is going to come from Europe. Okay? The Antichrist is going to come from Europe and his power base will be in Europe. So why are people in Europe talking about we glad we got Joe Biden, this administration, the White House? And why at the Congress, Joe Biden said that, hey, America the back moving again. What he was saying is, because of my administration, America is a back. What he's saying is, America is back moving forward into one world government and globalization, doing everything with climate change. When you hear the administration saying America is back moving again, he's saying America, that's why he's going back. That's why he's going back doing everything that Obama did, because Obama was driving everybody into a one world government in America. So what are you saying? America is back moving again. Because the last administration was taking America out of one world globalism. This administration is pushing America back into one world government. So what is he saying? America is moving full force back into one world government. And that's why the people are in Europe are celebrating. Okay? Okay? So when you hear them say immigration reform, when you hear them say immigration reform, the globalists, people like Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer, okay, and, uh, and this new administration that is in right now, in, in the White House now, when they say immigration re if reform, they are listening to the United Nation where they're willing to make citizens of a country citizens of the world, okay? okay? And their solution would be to number every human being in the world. And you might've heard at the Congress address, the Congress address yesterday where he said that, a, the Congress, Congress address where he said that we need a, uh, he was talking about a social safety net, okay? What, what do you mean by the social safety net? Why? Because they want America to be in a be into a one world government. Well, when wealth redistribution happened, everything is into a one world money pot, and the social net would be the world where would be the country depend depending on the one world government to disperse their earnings, to disperse what they're disperse what they need for their country, and tell them how they need to spend what they need for their country. That's why it was a, a great battle in the last administration because the united nation wanted to tell america how they should do their things but this administration were in office now they are on a submission to the agenda of the one one they are on the suggestion us uh, on under the submission of the united nation that's why they're pushing climate change the administration in the white house now is under the submission of the united nation well that president that is in office right now is not pushing an, an american agenda he's pushing a one world government so what do we say there's global leaders high up in authority talking to him to push the uh, United Nation agenda in America. Okay, okay. So let's let's be not deceived, brothers and sisters, what is going on right now. Okay, okay. You might have heard them talking about the international. If you don't know, I don't know if you've been in the army. Um, you might have heard them. Uh, um, uh, I don't know if you've been in the army. You might have heard about the ICC. Okay. I just want to show you how you, you heard of the World Health Organization. That is a one world government uh, place. You heard the ICC. The ICC is the International Criminal Court. That is a world court. You got to ask, why is a international criminal court side in place? Why is this court in place? It's not only to have, handle war crimes with different countries. They side the International Criminal Court up. So in this seven year period that we are in, that everyone that does not be a part of that one world state will have to go before the International Criminal Court. Okay, that's why you can get, do certain background check like how right, and you can look at your background report. If you look at your background report, they will say that he has no sanctions on him. 
they will have no sanction on him because they, these people, these globalists have sided up already that they can sanction with individual people in that time when they don't abide by that mark. So we have a international criminal court right now. It just deal with presidents and it deal with presidents and world systems, but it was side up. So when they issue people digital identity, everybody will have to answer to the international criminal court that low, how they side it up is that the one world government, when it comes to a one world state, every local uh, municipal, municipal uh, I can't pronounce the word municipal, uh, every local, let me say this, every local courthouse, every country Supreme Court will have to answer to the ICC as the global governing authority. Meaning whatever the ICC say, that's what the local authorities will have to follow. This is where it's heading to. Okay? Okay? And that's how people will become the enemy of the state because of their international law and international order that they have, they have, okay? Okay, now, uh, the Lord want me to reveal to you, um, we spoke about the satellite, okay? And we spoke about if you don't conform, you will, come, you will become an enemy of the state. The Lord also said to me, he showed, well, he, he showed me the partners of the Antichrist, okay? Jesus took me in the spirit, he showed me the partners of the Antichrist, and he recently just showed to me and I said this before, but he, he really dropped it in my spirit heavy today. He said they will control the world by their money. Now, the DJ, the Lord revealed to me uh, how, how he revealed to me their hearts and how they think. So these are what the globalists are thinking, right? Of what they're thinking of right now. Now, watch this now. This is what, now, I'm telling you this in humility. God showed me the partners of the Antichrist. God showed me what they was doing in the vision. And how about when I come out of the vision, they were doing, God, when I come out of the vision, months later, I seen them do it, doing exactly what God said they do, like he showed me months before I seen them do it. Like a month, months before I seen them do it. So God showed me what they will be doing. And months later, I seen exactly how they were operating and who they, and how they were operating, what they were doing, like God showed me months before they did it. Okay. Now, I'm showing you to show you that the Holy Spirit is speaking here. Now, God showed me the partners in the Antichrist in the vision and hear what the partner, the same people he showed me in the vision are the same people that are alive today doing what he said they would do. And this is what they said. This is what the partners of the Antichrist said. They said, give me control of a nation money and I care not who make the laws. Oh. So what are, what are the, what are the, now this is what the partners of the Antichrist said, okay? Now the Antichrist is gonna come on the scene but God showed me the partners that are in cahoot with him. And this is what they are saying. They saying, give me control of a nation money and I will control and I care not who make the laws. That's why you see them making a big issue about climate change in mid especially after this next crisis of World War III. Now, you see how they're making a big issue about COVID-19 and Christ saying we need to bring the world money together. Why are they saying it? Because the partners of the Antichrist, which are global elitists, are saying, listen, if we control the world money, then we'll care who make their laws. Meaning, because if we if we absorb control over their money, then they're gonna pass the laws that we want them to make because we're in control of their finances. Oh man, I'm telling you beforehand, brother and sister, our Lord and Savior have revealed to me, Lord and Savior Christ Jesus have Lord, our Lord and Savior Christ Jesus have revealed to me, have revealed to me uh, that they're gonna attack people's money first. And you got globalists right now are saying. Give me control of a nation money and I care who not make the laws, okay? This is what another, another globalist said. He said, who control the food supply? Watch it now. Oh, boy. And this is ev everything I'm telling you right now is going on through the global reset because this is what this globalist said. He said, who control the food supply controls the people. Who controls the energy control continents. And who control the money control the world. And when we track people, we can control their life. Oh. Now, the last part, let me say that the last part, the Holy Spirit uh, just revealed to me, when we control, when they control people, they can track, when they track people, they can control their life. Okay, okay. Now, watch this now, watch this now. I'm going to repeat this again. Everything I'm telling you are what, the first one is what the partners are that, everything the Holy Spirit is saying to you right now is what the partners of the Antichrist are saying, brothers and sisters. I'm going to repeat it. Take note. It's what they're saying. Give me control of a nation money, and I care not who make the laws. Why? Because if I take over your money, you'll pass the laws. Because I'm in control of your finance. That's what they say. The next thing, the next thing um, uh, they are saying is, 
whoever controls the food supply controls people. Mm-mm-mm. Okay. Whoever controls the energy controls the continent. That's why you can see them making a big deal about we need new renewable energy. We need all of these things. Why are they making a big thing about climate change and we need a green new deal? We need renewable energy. Why? Because they said, listen, whoever controls energy controls continent. Oh, oh man. And then what you said, whoever controls the money controls the world. Okay. So right now, they're taking over the world money through COVID-19, um, through climate change, and this next crisis, they're absorbing authority over the whole world money. So when they issue the mark of the beast, they say, hey, your money is still in your account. You can have your money. You just got to take this mark to keep it. Okay. That's why we need to be fasting. That's why we need to be praying now. Okay. So, and, and, and so what do we say? If your heart is attached to money, I'm, 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 I know people, these, I know these are not sexual teachings, but these are truth. Brothers and sisters, if your heart is attached to money, begin to pray that God break that now. Okay. If your heart is attached to money, if you've been, if you're attached to what you've been saving, what you've been bestowing up for yourself, brothers and sisters, I pray that you hear with the Holy Spirit. Okay. Ain't nothing wrong with having money, but I'm pr- I'm praying that your heart is not, not attached to it. I'm praying that my heart is not attached to it. That's why the globalists are passing all of these benefits out in America right now to get people heart attached to money. Why? Because the globalists are taking over the world money so they can control the whole world and people that are attached to it. Okay? True statement. The Holy Spirit just gave us a, 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 a inward revealing. I'm saying this in pure humility. I'm telling you right now, Jesus took me in the spirit and showed me who the partners of the Antichrist were. He showed me these people, and he showed me what they are talking about. And they're talking about controlling the world money. Are they going to do that? The Bible said they will. That's why they're going to issue the mark of the beast, because they're going to have control over the world money, and you have to take their mark to have access to your money. Okay. So what do we say? Let us trust God to perform. Jesus says, seek first the kingdom of God, and everything will be applied to you according to the will of his purpose. Therefore, let us not walk in the fear, but let us be awake and know that God provides for us. Because the, the book, of, what is our hope? The book of Daniel eleven thirty three 33 said the church will be great and do exploits. God prophesied that the church is going to have revival. We still are going to be functioning. We still going to be mobilizing. So God got a way that we're going to function uh, uh, function in this hour monetary wise. God got all of these things figured out. Because Daniel said in the end time that the church will be functioning. It said the church will be great and do exploits. So should we be worried when they issue the mark of the beast when they freeze accounts to make people take the mark? Absolutely not. We should just say, hey, we love Jesus. You can have it. Do what you will. I'm not going to take that mark. Why? Because we know God got a plan. How do we know that? Because Daniel 11, over 2000, Daniel chapter 11, verse 33, read it for yourself. He said the church, those that know their God will be, do, do, will be great and do exploit. What he's saying, those that know their God will be radical. They will move in the power of the spirit and they're still going to function. He's still going to provide food. He's still going to provide everything they need, but they're going to have to trust God to lead them to it. Okay. Okay. It's a true statement, brothers and sisters. Okay. 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 So what do we say? Let it, let our relationship with God be our gen- genuine hope in this hour. Okay. Now, brothers and sisters, now that we talked about, uh, now that we talked about what they're doing, uh, now we're gonna, we're gonna talk about we're gonna go to some of these articles, okay? Okay, that's why your relationship with Jesus is important, brothers and sisters. Okay, um, I know these are he- he- this is a heavy meal, but I pray, brothers and sisters, that you receive with an open heart. I pray that our hearts are tender, tender to receive what the Lord is saying, brothers and sisters, because um, um, the uh, these things are happening. They are they they are they are happening, and these things that are at work in this hour, brothers and sisters. And I, and I say again, I'm not saying these things for you to be afraid or for uh, I'm not saying these things for you to be afraid or for you to be shaken, brothers and sisters. I'm just simply saying these things so you can be awake and know um, what is happening in the hour that we are in, because it, it, these these are what these people are doing behind the scenes. OK, it's not on Front Street, but these are what they're doing behind the scenes. Okay? So let me just go through some we'll go through we'll go through a few articles real quick. Okay? Minister Collins. Show you some things that are happening. Hopefully, uh, everything moves moves okay. Kind of mobile right now, out and about, uh, um, doing this right now. So hopefully, everything still moves accordingly. Cool. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Mr. Collins. 
Holy Spirit is so sweet, man. I'm telling you, man. He's making the things possible, man. Even through hot spot. <laughs> okay. Uh, Canada introduces bill to pol to police all the internet. Look at this now. Okay. Okay. Desperate to transform his country into a clone of communist China. Okay. Why is that important with communist coming? Why why is that? Because the Book of Revelation, one of the horses in the Book of Revelation six four, the red horse represent communism. The Book of Revelation seventeen, the one riding the red beast, they one world government beast. He was telling us that that one world government is going to be a communist one world government. That's why the whole world, every leader that believe in governing, every leader that believe in globalism, you're about to see them exposed in a few months moving forward. You're going to see them start turning their country into uh, communist. Uh, they, you're going to see them start turning their country into inclusive capitalism, but it's really communism with a blanket over it. Okay. Desperate to transform his country into a clone of communist China, Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau has introduced has introduced. Uh, I lost my lost my place. New legislation that would censor the Canadian internet and make internet and make everything into a pol politically correct. So this man to want to pass what legislation? See, see how the world passed legislation? We're right now seeing Daniel over two thousand years ago said that this would happen. He said that the spirit of the and he said the antichrist would change time and laws. So what he was telling us that the spirit of the antichrist is going to go out before the physical antichrist and change times and laws before he come on the scene. And you see right now what are they doing? Legislation. We're watching the book of Daniel. Being fulfilled right before our eyes. Okay, that's why you should trust your Bible. It's written over two thousand years ago. Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau has introduced new legislation that would censor the Canadian internet and make everything on it on it politically correct, citing the threat of hate speech and hurtful language, particularly against politicians like himself. Trudeau wants to force all social media platforms, including Facebook and Twitter, to start immediately removing all content that someone on the on the left might feel offensive. Look at that now. See. If they doing this now with things posted on Facebook, Facebook, how would they how much more when they make people conform to the mark of the beast when they take control over the world money? Okay. These are what these people are doing, brothers and sisters. Once once a public publication is flagged, it will it will have take to be taken down within 24 hours of having it being flagged, confirmed Canadian Heritage Minister Stephen, um, who announced the plan during a recent video conference with the Center for Israel and Jewish Affairs. The new regulatory body would would be established on the taxpayer down to police. Listen to it to police to police all the internet. He added, "Take giant that refuse or fail to comply would incur financial penalty that would have to be paid to Trudeau his crime. Look at it. So if you don't abide, you will face a penalty. You see the heart. It ain't even the mark of the beast yet. It's coming. Okay, it's coming. And when the Lord allowed me to show, okay, I hear Holy Spirit. When the time comes, He allowed me to reveal some more stuff. Okay." Now, new, now, he said that if they don't abide, they receive penalty. Okay, God is showing us precursor to the great tribulation. What did the Bible say? He said, everyone that did not help, that not worship to be, did not take the bar, he called them, he called them to be killed. They received a penalty, a penalty for not taking them up. What did he do? He killed them. Okay, and you can see the hearts of man being prepared now. Uh, you see them trying to, you see them desensitizing the world now. Should we be afraid? Absolutely not, brothers and sisters. I'm not saying this to you for you guys to be afraid. I'm saying this to you guys to know. So I pray that you're not having heavy hearts, but really just seeing this like, man, these people are doing exactly what the Bible said they're going to do. Uh, do they say what they would do before it happens. Okay. okay. Now you see, now you see that, you see that right there saying global reset with my area. I'm just showing you these are what these people are doing, my brothers and sisters. Okay. So I showed you that. Let's go to some more articles. Okay. Again, brothers and sisters, I pray that you all are not being, I pray that you all are not fearful, brothers and sisters. This is so you won't fall victim to fear. Okay. Okay. If we don't talk about these things now, in the few in moving forward in 2021, moving forward, if we don't talk about these things now, when they if they catch off guard, you will fall victim to fear. But if you know them before they happen and your heart begin to process it, your heart, you, you will be ready and strong and power because you know these things are coming. Okay. And you'll begin to prepare your household for it. Okay. Okay. So let's talk about some more things. So hopefully this article pop right up to. Yeah. Hopefully it pop right up, brothers and sisters. Okay. Okay. 
Biden can go big playing with leaving America middle class addicted to the government and the Democrat, Democratic Party. Okay. So much for safety net to prevent poverty. See, see what I'm saying? What did the Bible tell us? Oh, what did the Bible first Thessalonians 5? Remember that you need, we need to make sure we keep that scripture in our head first of all. He said when by peace and safety, those when they holler peace and safety, sudden destruction comes. Physically with war wars, but also with spiritual deception. Watch it. So much for safety net to prevent property. This is now about maintaining benefits to the middle class families so they become addicted to government and the Democratic Party that has become to pro the promoter agent of government. Watch it. All of this adds up to healthy and annual income largely untied to the social contract that requires work. Wow. Which is the real path of independence and self-respect. New taxes are destructive, but their impact will take time to be felt as the post-pandemic economy soars. The GOP should ignore taxes and spending, but a more potent political target may be the bills tripling down on welfare states that disdain the dignity of work and seek to make Americans the wars of government. What is he talking about in this article? What is this man saying? What, 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 uh, look, taxing our way to prosperity. What are they doing? People don't understand. What are this administration doing in America? They're using this world, to, they, they're trying to build America, make America worship the one world government, to seek America, to seek one world government as they say ever. Why is that important? Now, have I received stimulus? Have I received some of the things? Absolutely, I received it, okay? Have I used some of it? Yes. But what, what is the Lord showing me in this hour, brother and sister? He says, son, they're using this stimulus. They're using all of these things to make your heart get attached to it. So you will worship one world government. Why, why are these people giving some benefit? Are they, do, do some of these, are some of these things happen in certain families? Yes, there are certain families. But what are their heart behind it? They're not doing it just to help people. They're doing it to enslave people to one world government so they would take the mark of the beast and eventually. Therefore, as we, as they send these things out to us, don't get attached to it. If you use it, using it is not sin. But your heart worshiping it is sin. Why? Because it's going to lead to condemnation. So as they get these things, start pouring this things out, taking this world into a universal income, do I pray, brother and sister, that your heart is not attached to it. I'm telling my family every day, my wife, my children, do not get attached to this stuff. On a daily basis, I'm, I'm drilling it into my family. Listen, do not let your heart get attached to this, attached to this stuff. Why? Why, brother and sister? And to be honest, I believe the Lord allowed me to go through this stuff so I can know how to, to, to warn the people. Because if I were not going through this stuff, going through what I'm going through now, I would not understand the people heart and how they're trying to consume people by it. Okay. So I'm telling you right now, brother and sister, don't let your heart get attached to this stuff. Okay. Don't let your, I, I, you know, don't let your heart get attached to it because there's going to be a time where you have to opt out. So if you're using it, okay, but don't, don't allow your heart to get attached to this stuff, brother and sister. Why? This article right here telling us that they're using it to enslave the world to worship one world government. So what are the what are the world what is countries around the world are doing this for? What 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 are they doing? They say we want to give benefits to help people. We want to give benefits to help money. We want to do all of these things. What are they doing? What are they doing? They're desensitizing the world to worship the image of the beast. Mm -mm -mm. They are desensitizing the world to worship the image of the beast, Revelation 13. The book of Revelation 13, so I've seen the beast rising out of the sea, and they call, and everyone began to worship the beast. Okay, They began to worship the beast in the image of his name. So what are they doing with COVID-19? They're making the government bigger because this whole world is going into captivity through one world government, and they're causing the whole world to worship government, to worship the image of the beast. Okay, So what, hear what they're doing. They're preparing the world to worship the image of the beast. Okay? Okay? The one world government is an image of the world because the one world government wants to be a false messiah. So right now, this administration is, is pushing one world government on America through regulation and benefits to say, oh, the government will save you. So when they push the one world government on the scene, when they begin, when they begin uh, in a few months moving forward in the next few years, when they begin to, there's going to be a public announcement. Okay. The Holy Spirit wants to say, y'all, soon, uh, moving forward, uh, moving forward um, in a seven-year period, um, there's gonna, there's gonna come times moving forward. They're gonna, there's gonna be a public announcement. Okay, you're gonna see global leaders come together at a summit, and you're also gonna see global leaders come outright addressing the nation of the world. And you're gonna see world leaders one by one, two by two, three by three. They're gonna begin to come out. They're gonna be get, they're gonna begin to come out and say, hey. They're going to issue a public announcement 
the whole world needs to come together. They're going to come out bluntly and say the whole world needs to come together. And this is what they're right now desensitizing man hearts to do that right now as we speak. This is why this article saying, this article right here saying that they're uh, making the uh, middle class America uh, worship uh, the one world government and the de Democratic Party. What is it about? It's not about Democrat or Republic at all. Right now, the spirit of the Antichrist, he desensitizes the world. The spirit of the Antichrist, he used people pain because it, it's legit people that need help, might need finances to pay their bill because of this uh, COVID and things that they got going on. Genuinely need help, but they but what they're doing is taking a taking money to help them, but also to enslave them to one world government. That's why your real allegiance got to be with Jesus and not money. So when you when they send these things, your heart don't get attached to it, but it's attached to Christ. And when it's time to leave these things, you'll walk completely away because it's not your God. But Jesus is not money. Okay. So this is what this article is stating right here, brothers. So you see them, you see the, uh, right now what they're trying to do get them uh, uh, make they the the globalists of the world is using all the, uh, using all these funds to help people to uh, desensitize the world to worship the image of the beast. That is what is going on with this. So be not deceived, my brother and sister. Let's keep moving forward. Okay. Show you another article. Okay. We we already talked about the peace agreement, the Abraham Accord is the peace agreement that begins the final seven. And we talked about the Palestinian Israelis going to come together. Okay. Biden demands PA to stop paying salaries of the terrorists. Now watch it. Watch what this article saying now. Because there's going to be, there's many, many, there's more nations going to come on and sign the Abraham Accord, but also the Palestinian Israelis is going to come in amongst this accord. There's going to be a peace agreement with them, and the Antichrist is going to be sitting at the table when the uh, Israelis and the Palestinians come to, come together. That that and the, the peace, this final seven have, have already started with the Abraham Accord. But what the Antichrist is going to do is he's going to come on, he's going to come at the midst of the Abraham Accord. He's going to come through one of the other agreements between the Israeli and the Palestinians, and he's going to make it even stronger with the Palestinians. So you got many agreements that Abraham Accord have again, and then there's many more accords that's going to come behind it. And the Israel and Palestinian is going to be another, just going to be another accord in it, in the Abraham Accord. But the Antichrist is just going to make it even stronger. Okay, okay. Now everything that is happening is leading leading to that point. Now watch this. It says, uh, U.S. diplomatic delegation is due to visit Israel and Palestinian Authority in mid-May. The Eastern Jerusalem Akut New Press reported on Thursday the members of the delegation will be Secretary for Israeli and Palestinian affairs at the State Department, former U.S. ambassador to the United Air, uh, UAE, okay, who are recently appointed as the White House current, uh, coordinator to the Middle East Affairs, Middle East Affairs. According to the report, um, the U.S. delegation would demand the Palestinian Authority, Chairman Mahmoud Abbas, to refrain from paying financial allowances to terrorist prisoners and their families in exchange for providing financial assistance to the Palestinian Authority, including security services and, and UNRWA, renewed support for PA public and private institutions in East Jerusalem, the reopening of the U.S. Counseling in East Jerusalem and the PLO, PLO office uh, office in Washington and the support for a two-state two solution. The report also said that the U.S. administration believed that these measures will lead, listen to it, listen to it now, listen to it. We can't put God in a box. The peace agreement have happened and some people might not say different things because it ain't happened the way they see it, but everything is going to happen just like God said it in the seven year period. Everything that is happening right now is going to shift to the Israel and Palestinians coming together. It's going to shift to the third temple being built. All of these things are due to happen soon. Okay? The report also said that the U.S. administration, listen to it, believes that these measures will lead to the resumption of Israeli and Palestinian authority negotiation based upon this two state solution. Okay, see? Okay. These are the things, these things, all these things are leading to that happen. And these things are happening fast. These things ain't delaying. Ever since the Abraham Accord have been signed, these things are happening at breakneck speed. Okay. Okay. Uh, let me see. Let's see what this, let me see. I'm trying to, um, what did I say? What, what was this article about? What was this one about? Let me see. Uh, this this got to be a okay. Let me see. I'm trying to remember why I sent this one. Mm -hmm. 
What'd he say? What'd he say? What'd he say? Making the whole, the, 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 the world top economy more inclusive. What is he talking about? We know recently on end-time evangelism, the world been talking about the global, they're talking about inclusive capitalism. But inclusive capitalism is really socialism. So this administration is really trying to build, bring America from a capitalist country to a inclusive capitalism, which is not capitalism at all, but really communism. Free universal what? Preschool. Why universal? Why why universal? Because they want to bring the whole world into a universal benefit system. University. But we better wake up. We better wake up what, what is going on. Universe is not just saying nationwide out of America. Okay. These these things have global global attachments to them. Keep moving forward. Minister Ralph, can you hear anybody? Hello? No, he can't. He can't hear us. I, I've texted. I don't know if he can hear it. I, I also texted. That's a good thing. That's a good some of them fighting against it. Okay. So you see right now, everything you just see they talking about, everything you just heard them talking about is globalization. It's not America first agenda. They're pushing the ben they're pushing benefit ideas of the United Nations to de to desensitize the heart of the American people for the globalization of the world. Now, does it look good right off, off the jump? Helping people, yeah. People would benefit in a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a, from a physical way, it might look good. People might benefit from, it, yeah. But spiritually, when they go to, when they hammer down and slam that mark, people's heart will be desensitized. And some people will not turn away from it. Brother and sister, let it not be so amongst us, brother and sister. But let us serve God and not money. Let us serve God and not the benefits of this world. Why? Because the true benefit is eternal life. This, all these things are going on is to desensitize the man's heart to worship the image of the beast. Okay. They're creating a false benefit system, a false utopia. Will we be a people that conform and worship this false benefit system that leads to condemnation, or will we worship the true benefit, which is eternal life? I don't know about you, brother and sister, but as for me and my house, we're going to serve the Lord. And I promise you, brother and sister, all of us should think that way. And I'm praying, God, Lord, kill pride, bring me, bring my family into it, because I know I'm weak, Lord. I can fall victim to this stuff. But I know you are strong, Jesus. And I know if I give my heart to you intimately, you'll keep me from this deception because I want to serve you, Lord. And I'm praying, brother and sister, because this is a great desensitizing. They are desensitizing people through delusion. This is what is going on. This is what is happening. Is it helping some people? Some people are getting, some people are maybe indeed getting help. Some people is getting help, but they're not doing it with a pure heart. They're doing it with an evil motive. That's why you got to serve God and not money, serve God, and not the benefits of this world. Because I, I tell you again, I tell you again, brothers and sisters, um, I tell you again, brothers and sisters, our Lord and Savior Christ Jesus, our Lord and Savior Christ Jesus took me in the spirit and showed me this, showed me what it, the, 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 the this, this deception of this benefit system. He showed me people being given over, to, he showed me how it would be. 
And he showed me the only thing that would save you is the spirit of God. And I'm telling you right now, the spirit of God will keep you from being desensitized. When they, when they send these things out, you use them. The Holy Spirit will say, the Holy Spirit will mind you. They, they're using this to desensitize people. So when you, when, when you use these things, don't let your heart get attached to it. Because there's going to be a call for you to pledge allegiance to it soon. And you better pledge allegiance to Christ now. See? These are what's going on, brothers and sisters. It's, it's not a game. It's really not a game, brothers and sisters. See? And, um, see? So, uh, we talked about, um, uh, we talked about U U.S. You, I'm just going to show you how some of the, some, some of the things that they are creating that are coming out right now, brothers and sisters. It's, 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 a, it's very, it's very serious account what is going on right now. Um, uh, some, uh, I'm gonna show you what what's going what what, what they did in uh, what they did in Florida right now. It, it, it's it's serious account. We ain't seeing nothing. They roll it. They rolling out some. Um, they, we'll, you'll see. I hope hopefully it come. I hope it come up. Um, and I hope it come up and show like it show like it need to. Um, I really hope it do. I really hope that it does. And can you guys still hear me clearly? Yes, we can hear you, but we've been trying to talk to you for the last few minutes. We can't hear those videos. And hopefully this one, hopefully this one do that. Hopefully this one takes too long to respond. Okay, cool. I'm just gonna this, this just to show you some of the, how technology stuff they've been having behind the works. This just show you stuff they got behind the scenes, but it's a lot of more stuff that's gonna be come out. That's tough, boy. I don't know how they just jumped on my screen like that. I'm sorry about that on my screen, y'all, but that was completely weird. I don't know how they got on my screen like that. That was completely weird. I was trying to write on the screen so he can um, hear us, but I guess he still can't hear. So that's that's what was weird. He talked about me writing on the screen. Yeah, we might have to write a little. So, brother and sister, I just wanted to show you, show you some j just the things that, if you, if, if um, oh no, oh okay, okay, okay. Let me see something real quick. Okay, I'm sorry about that, brother and sister. Let me see. I don't know why I didn't send no. Uh, uh, I don't know why it's not. The sound should be working. Not, I don't know why it wasn't. Um, but basically that was the, maybe, uh, maybe it's because I'm mobile, but, um, uh, can you still hear me talking? Can you hear me talking? Yes. Can you hear us? Can, can, can someone say, yeah, they can hear me talking or not? Uh, Oh, uh, okay. 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 Cool. Okay. 
Well, I'm sorry, probably because of, it probably because I was mo mobile. Why y'all can't hear the video? Um, but the video it was about a robot. It was about a robot, a owner, because the lack of work, work the man would say because people. Oh, okay. Give me no, I can't. I can't. I can't hear y'all, but as long, as long as y'all can, if, if y'all can hear me still clearly, that's cool. We can just go with that. As long as y'all can hear me, um, hopefully it'll clear up when I, what you call it, take this, uh, what you call off when I stop sharing. Um, but as long as y'all can hear me, that's good. And then um, I, um, I uh, stop sharing and then what you call it, um, I'll be able to hear y'all if that's what it's doing. But the, um, they were just the, the later purchase a robot because people would whether stay home and live off the government then to come into work. That's what the dude kind of said. So she invested like thirty thousand dollars into, uh, uh, into a into a robot, okay, into a robot. And um, it's, it's a serious account, brother. It's a serious account. What is going on, okay? So I'm gonna show you a few more other articles. Facial recognition, other risky AI set the constraints in EU. Okay, the Europe facial recognition and other and other high risk artificial intelligence applications will face strict constraints under new rules unveiled by the European Union that threaten hefty fines for companies that don't comply. The the European Commission, the block the block the block executive body proposed measures on Wednesday that would ban certain AI applications in the EU, including those that exploit vulnerable groups deploy subliminal techniques or score people's social behavior. The use of facial recognition and other real-time remote biometric identification system by law enforcement would also be prohibited unless use of repent, prevent a terror attack, find missing children, or tackle or public service security emergency. So they're not denying use of it, but they said they're gonna be it's gonna be used with certain it's gonna be it's gonna be um uh uh certain constraints for certain certain constraints with use it. So they're not denying it, but they say it's going to be certain or uh, certain constraints to use it. Why they say certain constraints? Because they want people hard to feel comfortable with it. They portraying it one way, like, hey, okay, y'all going to do this, but listen, we're going to do this, we're going to do that, we're going to do that to make people feel com comfortable doing it. But they're not denying it that it's going to be used either. Okay? They're not denying that it's going to be used either. either. Why? Because this world is moving into a globalization state where they'll be able to know everything and where you are. Okay? So I just want to show you that. So they're saying they're going to be constrained. They can't use it unless it's terror, unless it's about terror or to find missing children. Well, let me ask you a question. Now they're saying that in the European Union, they said that it won't be used unless unless it's terror or different other thing. Well, what if they call people that go against their agenda terrorists? <laughs> what if they like people that don't uh, take the mark of the beast? They're going to be considered as terrorists. So if they issue a facial recognition system. And they say, okay, it'll only be used against terror and mistreatment. Well, if they deem you as a terror against their agenda, against world peace, then it's okay for them to use it to search for you. Oh, you better you don't watch it. It said the Antichrist will corrupt people with flattery. So they're speaking through flattery right now, saying on one way, one hand to make people comfortable with it, but at the same time not denying it because you're going to use it for everyone that is against your will. Okay. Just show you some things that are going on. It's heavy what is going on right now, man. It's really heavy. Okay. Okay. Uncheck the divine third, uncheck divine defiant. Third largest Christian denomination in the US face potential schism over uh homosexuality. United Mystery Church, which is the third largest Christian denomination in the United States, United States, faces the possibility of schism after conservative Methodists are taking measures to break off over the issue of homosexuality. Now I like how so this why see I like that the Holy Spirit is pricking some people's heart that this is not okay that this this LGBTD laws that, that passed they're not okay, and remember God remember the Holy Spirit been telling us that the Lord is separating the wheat from the tares in this hour, this this now, we gotta understand that the Great Tribulation is not God wrath you know I know have I know it have been taught that the Great Tribulation is God wrath 
That is not God wrath. That is Satan wrath, meaning Satan persecuting the church. God wrath is the vials when God pour his pour the, his vial pour the bowls out on people that take the mark. So God wrath is when he persecute the world for taking. God wrath is when he pour out his bowl his his bowls on the people that took the mark of the beast. Okay, that is God judgment. The great tribulation is not God wrath. That is simply Satan persecute the church. How we know that? Because Revelation twelve says that. Revelation 12 said that woe unto you inhabitants of the earth because Satan have come down with great wrath because he know he only got a short amount of time. Okay, So the Bible was telling us the great tribulation where Satan will persecute uh, those that stand up for the truth. Okay, So what is the great tribulation? The great tribulation is actually a season of tests to separate the wheat from the tares. The great tribulation is, the, is, is that period that God will weed out those who are really for him and those who are not because those that are for him will stand firm on what they believe, but those that are not, were not. And this is the evidence of it. It's a United Methodist Church, which the third largest Christian denomination in the United States faces the possibility of schism as conservative Methodists are taking measures to break off over the issue. The, 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 would be, let me see, the would be division from the conservative group known as the Global Methodist Church consists of 17 member transitional leadership council, which a group of theological conservative Methodists, according to the Christian Post. So you got, so what is it saying? Uh, according to the order, what it looked like it's saying is that some of them like, hold up, man, y'all tripping. Uh, that is against the word. We can't, we can't, we can't follow that. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna end up breaking off, and y'all, what is it doing? What is it gonna do? It's gonna separate the weak from the tares. That is what this separate seven year period is gonna do. You're gonna separate God. Is gonna separate those who's gonna follow Him and those that not. It's sad that it should not even. The whole church should be walking. If, if that's the case, the whole church should be standing up, saying the same thing, saying that hey. It is not right, but you actually got people that's for it, and you got, sadly, you got people that are for it, and you got some people that is completely against it, and you see them separating. Well, there's going to be a great divide in many denominations and non-denominations. You're going to have some denomination of the non denomination You're going to have people going to choose to follow Jesus and those that are going to conform to the one world government and one world religion system. And you're going to have people raise up in the church and say, you know what? You know what? I've been in this denomination for like 20, 30 years, but y'all tripping. This is not the Lord. So we're going to walk away from that. That's not of the Lord. You got some people that worship man instead of God. And even though they know the Bible said it against, but because they worship a denomination of man more than God, they're going to say, you know what? We're going to stay in it. And sadly, lead to condemnation. This is evident of it. This, this article is a great revelation to separate the wheat from the tares. Okay? So we, we got to understand these things. The, God is not planned by his babies. God is going to tell the truth, and those that are the Lord is going to stand up, and, and they're not going to accept this. Okay, okay. this right here was showing that uh, um, Lebanon recently battled a swarm of locusts, a swarm of locusts. So that is a sign of the end time. Okay, okay, okay. Um, uh, lawmakers vow full control Israel. A new lawmaker in Israel vows for full control over the Temple Mount. Excuse me, why it's important because all this simply leading up every person god excuse me god so i set kings up and i bring them down so god is simply right now every person that is going up into office every person that is coming out of the office all they're doing is moving into place to fulfill god will we're, we're building the third temple with uh and everything that is going to happen in this seven-year period so this law making is promising that full israeli control over the temple mount that's where the third temple will be built during his open speech, he lamented the hesitancy of the Israeli government to assert full of sovereignty over Jerusalem and more specifically the Temple Mount saying, I will act to ensure that Israeli control returns to Jerusalem and the Temple Mount specifically. Now, I don't think they're far-fetched. Why? Because you got even Muslim in Saudi Arabia calling for Israel to take control over the Temple Mount where they can, uh, ha Arabs and Jews can um, deviate the Temple Mount how they see fit, but also lean to the Jewish people rebuilding the third temple. Even certain Muslims are hoping that the Jewish people rebuild the third temple. Okay. Okay. Show you something else. I'm going to show you a couple more articles, brothers and sisters, and then we're going to take a couple questions, brothers and sisters. Okay. Okay. James Bonds go green. MI6 chief suggests final nation to ensure compliance with climate change pledges. Oh. Look at it now. Look at it now. We just talked about being an enemy of the state. Like the movement talk, talk, talked about, like, was the enemy of the state, how they would spy on people you know, if, uh, if they was not doing what they were doing, okay? Now, the globalists are going to do this. That's why they launch a thousand of satellites in the sky. They're, 
countries are launching thousands of thousands of satellites in the sky. Not one and two. They launching thousands of satellites in the sky. Watch it. With the CIA branding itself as a woke Western intelligence agent. That's crazy. Why? Because there's a woke, false woke movement in America for globalism and, and anarchy and lawlessness. And lawlessness. Why is it important? Because now they saying that the CIA is saying that they are a woke movement. So you got a woke movement in America talking about uh, that is for globalism and anarchy and lawlessness. Why is it important? Because the book of Matthew 24 said there will be lawlessness, iniquity or bind in the leading up to the second coming of Jesus. And the, with the CIA branding itself as a woke worst intelligent agency, it was only a matter of time before the UK MI6 tried to one up their US counterpart, potentially spying on the world's biggest polluter, watch it. And something that sounds like it should belong to the, 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 the uh, I guess I said it, onion of Babylon B, the head of the UK Secret Intelligence Service, uh, co commonly known as MI6, suggests that they should engage in a so called green spying on nation with make climate change pledges in order to make sure they are keeping them. Wow. So they're talking about now the whole world is going, going behind climate change, right? We seen them. Uh, Joe Biden spoke about it at his address, climate change. And now you got people that in high intelligence agents that watch satellites and different other things saying that maybe we should spy on people to make sure they're in compliance with climate change. If they're doing it with climate change, how much more would they do that with the market to be to, to spy on people to, make, to see who is about it and who is not? I'm telling you, man, these people got a real sinister plan going on and the Bible revealed it to us 2,000 years ago before it happened. You know? I just, you know, watch this sticking in thing. You know, we told you God's in the book of Roman 1 and Tom Evangelist was told that they would be given over to a reprobate mind. Now, watch it now. It said, petition and petition in NYC calls for parents to marry their children, be prepared for their earthquake, volcanoes, and war. Now, watch this now. Watch this now. And what we may be, and what may be considered an extreme of liberal per permissiveness, a recent court case petitioned the Manhattan Federal Court to overturn the existing law in order to permit a parent to marry his or her child. That is disgusting. It's, it's sick, man. It's sick, man. It's, 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 it's crazy, man. One rabbi warns that the Torah especially described the inviolable outcome of such union. Uh, the earth will vomit out all inhabitants in extreme natural catastrophes. Okay. Okay. Petition to permit a parent to marry a child. Earlier this month, the New York City resident filed a claim in Manhattan, federal court seeking to overturn the existing law to, pre 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 to prohibiting a parent from marrying their own, to, from marrying their grown offspring, a practice referred as the incest. The petitioner requests that all the personal details remain private as their request is an action that a large segment of society views as views as morally, socially, and biologically repugnant, according to the petition filed on April. The petition called the issue of the matter, matter, matter individual autonomy. That's what how that that what that, that how the antichrist would work. He would he would call he would he would call um, for people of the world to live a autonomous life. You can do whatever you want, and there should be no judgment. The spirit of the antichrist is at work right now, and it's going to lead during the great. Church, it's going to be so more where people God have took me in the spirit and showed me this stuff. I'm telling you, He showed me this stuff. How immoral it's going to be, and this is this not surprising me, as what God showed me in the spirit. These people is going to be the Holy Spirit. Excuse, excuse me. Holy Spirit, help me. Help me say this right, Holy Spirit. The spirit of the Antichrist, the spirit of the Antichrist is going to call the world to be in an autonomous living, meaning you can do whatever you want. You can live whatever you want, and you should not be judged for it. They're going to come to a place to say when you discriminate against what somebody wants, that's called hate. It's crazy, man. It's sad, man. God, The Holy Spirit revealed to me uh, and more these are more things of what these people are gonna do. Okay, okay, okay. The petition called the issue of marriage and visual autonomy. The parent gave the reason specifically through the enduring bond of marriage, two persons, whatever relationship they might otherwise have with one another, they can find a greater level of expression, intimacy, and spirituality. The proposed spouses are adults. The feeling stated. The proposed spouses are biological parent and child. The proposed spouses are unable to procreate together. Okay. Parent and adult child couple from whom procreation is either virtual or literally impossible can aspire to the transient purpose of marriage and seek feminine and hire men to petition the claims. If the court rules in favor of the quest, it will overturn the current law under which any form of sexual relationship is a third degree felony, uh, bearing a sentence up to four years imprisonment. Okay. The marriage is, is 
marriage itself is a misdemeanor and is invalid. And those who do so face a fine up to six months in jail. The law prohibited marriage between. So you can see these things. So you hear right now people are petitioning to the court on insertion to marry for the, the parent to marry uh, the child. You got to hear the heart of man right now. God took me in it. When he, when time go forward, and he allowed me to share some of the things he shown to me, brothers and sisters. I'm I'm saying to you, Peter Miller, this is not uh, surprise me. God showed me how corrupt and moral is going to be uh, during the Great Tribulation. Okay, okay. And I'm uh, uh, this could be my uh, this could be my uh. It said um, Biden says outdoor mad people don't need masks outdoors. Why is it important? Why is it important? Fox News, because they saying if you don't if you have a mask, then guess what? If you don't if you got vaccinated, then you can go outdoors no mask. What they're doing, that's desensitizing man the heart to be controlled for their agenda. That's what all this leading to, okay? It's all leading to, brother and sister. Okay. Um uh US Supreme Court takes up case on carrying handguns. Gonna see how that how that play out. They're taking cases to uh they're taking major cases uh on hang uh taking up a case that Supreme Court in a few months gonna take up the the uh case about uh, uh, about guns and stuff like that, carrying guns and stuff like that. So we're gonna see what happens and how this thing play out. Okay, okay. You got U.S. military fire. You got U.S. military uh, firing shots at Iran uh, in the Gulf. Why is it important, brother and sister? Because we're building up. Uh, we're building up to World War Three, brother and sister. Okay, and it's not on front street. You got people afraid to talk about the standoff with Russia. You got people right now are afraid to to speak up about the standoff with Russia in America, with Russia in America, okay? These things down on front street, but there's war brewing behind the scenes, okay? World War III will wipe out a third of mankind, and this is where we're headed, and they're gonna use that crisis just like they use COVID-19, huh? okay? Uh, last poll, uh, I think, I, I don't know if I shared this last week, but Biden administration allows U.S. flags to um, to fly, to fly. This is my last article right here. Just want to show you, man. It's sad, man. Buy that, man, to allow U.S. embassy to fly LGBT fried, fried flags. Um, um, to fly their flags around the embassies, around the enemies, around uh, the embassies. Excuse me. Um, uh, the Biden administration allowing. Uh, the they're uh, allowing their embassy to fly LGBT flags with American flags all around the world. Okay, okay. So just wanted to show you that, brothers and sisters. Okay, um, uh, Biden added men to allow U.S. embassies to fly LGBT pride flag reverse Trump era policy. So, brothers and sisters, I just wanted to show you some of these things, brothers and sisters. And um, these are the things that are happening, brothers and sisters. And um, we must be aware. Okay. We must be aware of these things. Okay, just want to make sure. Okay, Europe, they want to accelerate climate change commitments. Okay, um, European Union, European Union to allow, European Union to allow vaccinated people to visit, about allow vaccinated Americans to visit. So I just want to show you, brothers and sisters, how this world is becoming desensitized. These the last three points what we're gonna end it with. COVID-19, they're using COVID-19 to desensitize the world to worship the image of the beast. They're using climate change to take control over the world monetary fund. And the next crisis of World War III and moving forward with every other crisis that happened next would to be to control the world guns, to know who got a gun, and to know all of these things so they can enforce complete control of the world population. So when they issue the mark of the beast, they will know if you for them or an enemy of the state, okay? Brother and sister, that is all I have for you today. And I pray that this word was blessed to you, brother and sister. Is there any questions, my brother and sister? I see a hand raised. Sister uh, Minister Collins, can, uh, well, I got two things now. When you talked about the, the whole gun thing, uh, I just wanted to share that um, when I had took my son to the doctor, one on the questionnaire, one of the questionnaires on there that they want the kids to answer in private, not for the parents to answer, not for the parents to even to discuss it with the kids. But one of the questions on there is that um, 
Um, do you live with someone who has a gun or someone that walks around with a gun? Um, yeah, are you crazy. gay? Are you lesbian? Or do you want to have more information about it? And these are questions that they're asked. They want the kids to answer, not in the presence of their parents. And so um, I had a run in with the nurse and the doctor because they wanted me to leave the room and I refused to leave the room. And when I, I you know, I was asked, you know, those questions and I was reading over and I was like, this is crazy. These wow. are some crazy questions that they're asking kids and they want the kids to answer them in private. And then they want the parents to leave the room so that those kids can answer those questions in private. And then after that, can you go back over the three steps of salvation and the three steps of condemnation? Okay, three steps of salvation is, um, you have to first believe in Jesus, you have to worship Jesus, but have faith in him. And once, right, when you come to repenting, you accept him as your Lord and Savior, you begin to worship him. But then you, you become baptized in his spirit, you bear his name. We are dead in, we're, 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 we, when we baptize in him, we come alive in him. So we bear his name. Okay? We bear his name. And the third thing is you are filled with the Holy Spirit. The three steps of salvation. Okay. Okay. Now, Satan, the, the combination, three steps of damnation is he's going to cause you in this seven year period to worship the, worship, worship the Antichrist, which will be Satan. Okay. Then he will cause you to, um, to worship the image. To worship the image of the beast will be like you taking his name. Okay which is you taking the mark of the beast. So when you take the mark, it'd be like you bearing his name. But it's frightening. But it's break my heart. I don't understand why God judged the world because of that. Because when you take the mark, it's like you bearing Satan's name. Okay? Then you, and then in salvation, you're filled with the Holy Spirit. But in damnation, Satan, the last third one of his, you're being filled with demonic oppression, be filled with demon spirit. Not the Holy Spirit, but demon spirit to worship globalism. Okay? That is it right there. Um, um, Sister, did I, did I, did, was that good? Would that help you out? Uh, yes, I just wanted to type it up. I'm going to send it to, to someone. I just wanted to make sure I had it right. Okay. Uh, is there any more questions, brothers and sisters? Okay. Um, Sister Katina, thank you for asking the question, Bowling. Thank you for sharing it. Thank you for having your eyes open, being able to see what is happening, what is going on, the fact that they will ask a child that what gun rights got to do with it. I'm telling you, and I'm glad you your eyes are open to see these things, how they even working through paper, even at a doctor appointment. That's crazy. That show you how far these people are going with this stuff. Uh, 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 Brother AC, uh, if you can go ahead and uh, if you have anything you have to say. Um, Can you hear me? Okay. Um, great. Good lesson tonight. Um, I know that there are a lot of things happening, and and Sister Murray was just saying. Uh, Sister Murray was just saying. Um, they are trying to isolate our uh, our children, those that they feel like are being protected and covered. They're trying to isolate those uh individuals and put them in a category as well but um as we are are awake to what's happening and seeing what's going on that we persevere in this time that we're in and remain faithful to the lord i know uh a lot of us don't look at stuff that's happening overseas or in other countries but we kind of just focus in around where we are and, and what we have going on in our communities and our neighborhoods. But uh, even in that, we should be able to really see just the, the climate and the dynamics of how a casual conversation about something that, that we know morally is, is, is out of whack. And I was sharing, I think, when Minister Collins was talking about this the other day, really, that um, what you were saying before, that our thoughts, even with our thoughts, that we will be our own enemies with our thoughts because of how we think. And as a man thinks, so is he. Our mind, our minds will say a certain thing, but then our or our heart will say one thing, but our our actions will line up and make us do something else totally different because 
of who we surround ourselves with sometimes. So it, 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 it's very, very important that we pay attention to what we're, what's going on around us, what's happening around us, and and who we follow. And let us uh, hold fast to the following of Jesus Christ. That's all I have, man. Thanks. And uh, also, um, that's kind of messed up. You got us on Do Not Speak to Me. Uh, privileges when you're talking, man. You don't, you don't be hearing us saying that until you. Definitely not. What? That's messed up. You didn't hear me? No, I, my, my computer, because I'm mobile, so my computer kind of acting up because I'm using hotspot. So it is probably why I can't, it going in and out like that, missing. I can't hear you all in London. <laughs> no, you can't hear us at all, man. It was about, it was about 10 people trying to get your attention on us. Man, I'm sorry, man. But yeah, man, I'm 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 somebody, I'm out. Somebody said, you know, I'm right on the screen. Oh yeah, I'm glad they did because I was like, what is this? But yeah, though, man, it's because um this hot spot. I'm out and about, man. So I'm using the hot spot, and right, I get. Man. I'm messing yeah. with you, man. I'm messing with you. I'll take it personal. <laughs> no, I got All you, bro. Right. God bless you. Man. God bless you. Love y'all, uh, man. I really do love y'all, brothers and sisters. Uh, Elder Brian, you want to pray us out, brother? Most gracious and eternal Father, we give you thanks. We give you honor. We give you glory. Father, once again, you have opened our eyes. You, Father, you said in your word, those that have an ear, let them hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. Father, we thank you, God, that we are not, not, not dismayed by the, by the signs and the wonders and the things that are happening in this world today. Yes, Lord. Father, because we put all our hope and trust in you. Yes, Lord. Father, we thank you, God, for being our Lord and Savior. You are yes, the Lord. King of Kings. You are reign over everything. Father, we thank you because we're not dismayed because everything that has happening is according to your will and your, your plan. Yes, Lord. So, Father, we thank you, God, for giving us eyes to see and ears to hear. Yes, Lord. Father, we thank you, God, that we walk after the Spirit so we will not desire, fulfill the desires of our flesh. Yes, Lord. Father, we thank you, God, that we seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness, and yes, all these things shall be added unto us. Yes, Lord. Now, Father, allow us to continue to study to show ourselves approved unto God. A workman need not be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Yes. Father, we thank you for the man of God who hath labored before you and have heard from your throne room, O oh God, and, and has a heart and, and, and the confidence and the boldness to share what thus says the Lord. Continue to bless him and his family. Father, we ask you to bless the leadership of this church. Yes, God, we thank you, God, for the, for the great new birth leadership. Yes, Lord. Our pastor and our first lady, God, and those that support them. We thank you, God, for everybody that's on this line. Yes, so, God, we ask, God, as we depart this, this venue on tonight, that we realize that we don't depart your presence. God, let us walk faithfully before you, God. Let us declare what thus says the Lord, as our brother has done on tonight. Let us stand for righteousness' sake. Father, we thank you, God, for all that you have given us. Yes, Father, we ask you to be our keeper. God, we ask you to be our guide. Father, we ask you to order our steps according to your word. Yes. So we thank you and we give you praise and honor and glory in Jesus' name, amen. In Jesus' name, amen. Love y'all brothers and sisters.